Hi guys, thank you for joining me back here again on the 401 Files. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here on such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue. I've got Lily running around here somewhere like a headless chicken. I've been hearing her chasing pheasants and no doubt wild men. But um, I just thought I'd sit here and talk to you guys, take five minutes to enjoy this beautiful day and talk to you guys about the men in black. A subject that's fascinated me for years for many different reasons. And I'm gonna dive into them really quickly now and share them with you. But please do chip in. Let me know what your thoughts and theories are on the Men in Black because I don't know everything um, and it's always interesting to know what you guys think. So, all around the world, many people have had experiences with UFOs, extraterrestrials. Talk about these experiences shortly after with these weird beings, these weird humans on the surface of things that don't quite look right. Something's a bit off about them. And often they use very forceful tactics, often they're very threatening um, and, and pushy. They tell people if they want to see their children again that they should keep their mouth shut. If they want to arrive at work on Monday morning, then they should never speak about this again. Um, so who are these men in black guys? Who are they? All the reports that I've heard of these men in black say the same thing. They're extremely tall people pale skin, sl slender build, and completely bald. They have no facial stubble, no eyelashes, no eyebrows, and no hair on their head. So if we say that the government are employing these beings to keep the UFO phenomena under wraps, does that mean that the government are employing only bald, identical twins? Because that's what it would have to mean. And the reason it would have to mean that is because this isn't happening to one person in one local area. This is happening all over the world to hundreds of different people. We have this woman here in Australia talking about these pale, hairless, identical twins threatening her. Then over here in the UK, somebody saying the same. Then over in Sweden and Russia, they're all over the world. Is it just one pair of twins traveling all around the world threatening people? I highly doubt it. Is it the government just hiring bald, identical twins? I highly doubt it. So then we have to ask ourselves, what is going on? Because that is a very strange description that keeps occurring time and time again of these people using threatening behavior. Are they extraterrestrial? This is the most likely theory, in my opinion, because Gary McKinnon, a very famous person here in the UK, was a hacker who hacked into NASA's database and he pulled forward a folder that was titled Non-Terrestrial Officers. Now in that list of non-terrestrial officers, Gary went through the names um, one after the other and he couldn't find anything to suggest that these were humans in orbit. No names at all, these wasn't astronauts, but yet the folder was titled Non-Terrestrial Officers. He then found another folder called Ship to Ship Transfers. Instinctively, Gary thought that this must mean naval ships, but when he ran the names through, no naval ships belonged anywhere to any fleet on this planet. So what does that mean? Non-terrestrial officers and ship-to-ship -ship transfers? Sounds very extraterrestrial to me and very alien indeed. So that has me thinking about the Men in Black. I know that Dan Aykroyd made a documentary a few years back about his UFO experiences and his interest in the UFO phenomenon. But in that documentary, he also mentioned his experience with the men in black and how strange that was for him and how that kind of altered his perception on who they were. But I'm just curious, guys, what do you think? Do you think the men in black are humans that are employed by the government who just happen to be bald, identical twins? That to me seems very unlikely and hilariously funny if that is what their job description entails. Oh yeah, just to, if you want the, the position, you've got to be identical ball twins, otherwise you can't start Monday morning. That sounds very far-fetched and ridiculous. So then the other options are that the government are working alongside extraterrestrials to keep people quiet about the UFO phenomenon. Now that one sounds my favorite of the bunch. And then we could go even one step further and say, are the government extraterrestrials? This is something that David Icke talks about. That sounds very far-fetched and out there, but who knows? If, the, if we have the government who we supposedly believe are human working with extraterrestrials, then why stop there? Who's to say the government are extraterrestrials? 
I'll be fascinated to know what you guys think on this. Um, the Men in Black, like I said, the Men in Black theory or the Men in Black subject is very fascinating indeed. Um, these don't seem like they're very nice people. In a lot of these situations, they threaten people with their life, their children's life, and um, they're hell-bent. They're hell-bent on keeping the UFO extraterrestrial phenomena silent and out of the public domain. You guys let me know what you think. It's been an absolute pleasure to get out on this glorious day, sit by this tree and chat to you about the topics that we all love to talk about. Take it easy guys, stay safe wherever you are in the world and until next time, I will see you on the next one.